What is the difference between a Nabi and a Rasul? So, if you say Prophet, Prophet is the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to his nation only. Why the Prophet, that is messenger, so is a is one that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to all his nations. What is the difference between a Nabi and a Rasul? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The differences between Nabi and Rasul is Nabi was sent to his own people while a Rasul was sent to the whole nation. What's the difference between a Nabi and a Rasul? Nabi, the same messenger, is a prophet that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to his nation only. He sent with only one book to his nation. While a Rasul, a prophet, is a the messenger that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to his na all the nations. What's the difference between a Nabi and a Rasul? First of all, the prophet, prophet means messenger. I mean, Nabi means messenger, while Rasul means prophet. All the prophets are messenger, but not all the prophets are messenger, but not all the messengers are prophets. What's the difference between a Nabi and a Rasul? Nabi and Rasul. Then Nabi can, is just a prophet which means they were Almighty Allah did not command them to delay a message to those people. They were not sent to people, but they can delay the message within themselves and their families. But Rasul, those are the Nabi together with Rasul. It's a two, the two categories, which is two different uh, uh, glorious blessings from Almighty Allah that is being endowed to them, that they should be a prophet and at the same time a messenger to, uh, so to some particular group or to the whole world. What's the difference between a Nabi and a Rasul? Yeah. A Nabi and a Rasul? A Nabi is the prophet that was sent to some group of people where our Rasul are some messenger that was sent to particular people. It's not all the people. What is the difference between a Nabi and a Rasul? Uh, the Nabi are uh, those that Allah sends to only his um, people, family. But the Rasul are the messengers that Allah sent to peoples and his family including. Uh, a Nabi example is um, Nabi Jina Adam. He was sent to his uh, people, uh, family only. But the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam are sent to the nation, all the nation. What is the difference between a Nabi and a Rasul? The difference is that the, the Nabi is the Prophet and Nabi are the people that God give them message, but just for them and their family only. But the messengers are those ones that God give them, God give them message and to for the entire and they must distribute it. That's the, that's the most thing. But God the, give the Rasul message to the entire mankind. To the entire mankind, but the, but Nebish is um, for just them and their family. But the prophet for Rasul for the entire mankind. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome to this uh, episode. Alhamdulillah, we are back from uh, Darul Arkham where we interviewed the students and we asked them about the difference between a Nabi and a Rasul. So what is the difference between a Nabi and a Rasul? Um, in order to know the difference, first of all, we need to know the definition of these terms. So who is a Nabi or what is a Nabi? Nabi is from the Arabic word Naba'a, which means information or to inform. Uh, Allah SWT says, Amma yatasa'alun anin naba'il azim. So they are asking you about the great information. Naba is a news or some form of uh, information. So a Nabi is the uh, subjective noun from the verb uh, Naba'a. It means the one, Bimana Mambo, Bimana, the one that has been informed, the one that has been given some sort of information. So this is linguistically speaking. Then, uh, but when we talk about Nabi in the Sharia, what we are saying is some anybody that has any form of uh, information or revelation from Allah. Nabi is anybody that has some form of divine revelation from Allah. Then a Rasul is from the Arabic word uh, Arsala, which means to send somebody. So bimana Mursal, yani Rasul bimana Mursal, somebody that has been sent, somebody that Allah has given a message to convey to a particular group of people. So 
uh, Rasul and the Sharia, as we said, is somebody that receives a divine message and is commanded to, you know, preach that message. So what is now the difference between a Nabi and a Rasul? Um, the most popular uh, opinion is that a Nabi is somebody who has some sort of revelation from Allah, but is not commanded to what, to spread that information. But the Rasul is commanded to deliver that message. Um, this particular differentiation has some flaws in it. As Sheikh Al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah he pointed out that there is a problem with this uh, differentiation. Because even the, some of the Anbiya, or the Anbiya, they are commanded to also preach to people. As we find in uh, Surah Al-Ma'idah, chapter 44, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّا أَنزَلْنَا التَّوْرَوْتَ فِيهَا هُدًا وَنُورٌ يَحْكُمُ بِهَا النَّبِيُّونَ أَلَّذِينَ أَسْلَمُوا لِلَّذِينَ حَادُ so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that what we have sent down, we have revealed the Torah. And in this Torah, it has guidance and uh, uh, light for those. Uh, it has guidance and light in which the prophets that are submitted use it to what? To guide. Right? And the beyond, the prophets, the Nabi, they use it to guide people and they preach it to people. So from this verse, we get that even Ambiya day to day preach. So then, what is the difference between Nabi and Rasul? So, a Nabi and Rasul, as Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, is that what? A Nabi is somebody who is sent to a believing people, to convey a message to a believing people, while a Rasul is sent to what? To a disbelieving people. So that a Nabi comes to a group of people, uh, uh, believers that already had a Rasul, but he comes to what? To continue preaching the message of that Rasul. But a Rasul comes with a new legislation and he is sent to what? A disbelieving people and he comes with a new law and a new legislation. So, first of all, the difference is that one NAB is sent to what? A believing people, while a Rasul is sent to a disbelieving people. Secondly, NAB does not come with a new legislation, like a new law or Sharia. He, but he comes to what? Follow the Sharia of a, a previous uh, Rasul. So he does not have his a legislation of his own. While uh, a Rasul, they come with what, their own legislation and their own law that usually abrogates the law of the previous uh, Rasul. For example, uh, Adam alayhi salam is a Nabi, but we don't say he's a Rasul. Why? Because Allah did not send him to a group of people to preach to anybody. He did not come with a new legislation. But uh, Nabi Nuh alayhi salam is a Rasul. And that's why we say he's the first Rasul. So the first Nabi is Adam alayhi salam, but the first Rasul is Nuh alayhi salam. Why? Because he came with a new legislation and he was sent to a disbelieving people. If you also look at a Nabi, uh, Nabi you know, Musa and Harun alayhi salam, alayhi salam, you find out that Musa alayhi salam is a Rasul. He was the one that Allah talked to, Allah revealed to him, Allah gave him the law and the legislation. But Harun alayhi salam on the other hand is a Nabi because he did not come with his own legislation. He is following the legislation of Musa alayhi salam. So he is a Nabi but is not a Rasul. So this is just the difference between a Nabi and a Rasul. That a Rasul comes with a new legislation, but a Nabi only follows the legislation of a previous Rasul. A Rasul is sent to a disbelieving people, a Nabi is sent to a, a group of people that are already believers. And that is why we say that the Prophet ﷺ is Khatimun Nabiyin, he is the seal of the Prophet. We did not say he is the seal of the messengers, because if we had said he is the seal of messengers, it would mean that it is possible to still have other uh, ambiya after him. But when we say he is the seal of the prophethood, then it means that there can be no no other prophet because every Rasul is a prophet. You see, every Rasul is a Nabi. But not every Nabi is a Rasul. So that every messenger is a prophet, but not every prophet is a messenger. The Prophet Salam became a Nabi by the verses of the Quran, Ikra bismi rabbika lazi khalaq. So with these verses, he received some sort of information or revelation from Allah, he became a Nabi. But he was not yet a Rasul. What made him a Rasul was the revelation of the verses, Ya ayyuh al mudathir kum ba'anzir. All you who is in wrapped in garments, stand up and warn. So this command of Allah in the Quran made him a, a prophet, made him, sorry, a messenger of Allah. So you see, there is a difference between a Nabi and a Rasul. So uh, with this little explanation, we hope that... Uh, We've been able to clarify the little difference between a Nabi and a Rasul. This will say Jazakum Allah Khairan for sticking with us to the end of the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. Inshallah, we'll be making more videos like this. This will say Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika. Ashadu Allah ha ila anta. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayhi.